Okay. How are we doing today? I want to play some Bloodborne today. That's what I feel like doing. The big, um, the boxing glove, like the hand wraps, the hand wraps came in yesterday, and today the bag came in. So I'm excited. I get to start a hobby I've been interested in for a little bit. And, even better, the husbando is equally interested. Which is nice. Nice and neat and stuff. Figured I'd play a little bit of Bloodborne. Uh, this is the character. I had to remember which was the stream character for a second. <laughs> Whoopsies. That's okay. I'm dumb. That's all. I'm just stupid. Oh yeah, I was in the middle of fighting... Maria. That's fine. I don't know, I don't even care. Hello, it is I, the dumb fuck that can't do shit! I mean, to be fair with you, I'm extremely under fucking level for this fight. Because the next major boss behind this bitch is Orphan of Cause. <laughs> Something to remember. Oh, too early. I'm not used to working with slower attacks like that. I don't really fight these bosses very often. Oh, I thought I missed the parry. There we go. Nice! Nice. Oh, oh, right. There's a wall there. Nice. Ain't nothing like getting destroyed five seconds into a stream. For the hell of it, I was browsing around on one of the, um... Like the Ask Reddit subreddits. Just to see what people are doing. Because they're shutting down Yahoo Answers. Which I kind of wanted to look at as a, a bit of a topic source. Because why the fuck not? That way I have stuff to just kind of talk about. But they're shutting that down. So that's fun. Ah. I will always fuck that up, because I expect it to be faster than it is. But yeah, somebody there was like, what's the weirdest thing that the quiet kid did in school? Let me tell you, as the quiet kid... <laughs> house arrest was interesting and weird. Because in high school, I was a troublemaker. Not really a troublemaker, it was more just like... like How do I want to put this? I was not a saint, right? So the important thing to remember about my childhood is that I was a very sheltered child. I had no frame of reference for how reality really was, because I was just kept behind a giant wall of, like, homeschooling for, like, half of my young life. And so, when you have a couple of batshit crazy parents that don't really... What's the word? When you have a couple of batshit crazy parents that... Don't have their, their minds set correctly the whole way. And they're teaching you from home. Yeah, you kind of you kind of lose your ground on what's real and what's not. 
or more like how the fucking world actually works, right? So me being a stupid fucking kid, there was this one fucking, um, ah, god, I'm all over the place with this shit. You can watch, that's okay. It's okay. I don't think anybody really wants to listen to me talking right now anyway. No, my visceral. There we go. Give me my HP back, motherfucker. Today's a mess. Oh god, that doesn't sound fun. But yeah, so... Dad was a Marine, okay? He was he was a Marine, active duty. And he had to deal with a lot of PTSD because of it. Which made him very... Can I parry that, I wonder? Give me that fucking visceral, no. Ah. I hate... The slower attacks mixed in with the fucking faster ones. Mainly just because they're always a gotcha for me. They always catch me. Because I get so used to everything else being fast, and then the one thing that's slow compared to everything else hits me. Because I'm not taking into account that it's slow. That's the point. <clears throat> they want you to be used to it being fast. That way they catch you. It's just how it works. Don't mean it has to be that way, though. <laughs> but yeah. Uh... Ah, don't worry about it. I completely forgot where I was. What really matters is that there's a bug in here and it's bothering me. You could say it's bugging me. Holy fuck, how late do I have to delay that shit? From Silent Hill? Resident Evil? I don't know what the fuck you're- Oh, you're talking about the stupid vampire person that everybody was nutting all over recently? Nah. I'm good. I'm fucking good. But any- I'm all over the place today. I swear I'm drinking my coffee. It's- It's my focus juice and it, it's- 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 it's there. God. What a mess. <sighs> what a fucking mess. Oh, fuck. Lady, what are you doing? That's- that's fine, but no visceral because I fucking hit circle pretty much on instinct every time I hit the fucking parry button. Oh my god! Whoa, okay. Fuck that. Fuck out of here, you asshole. There was a gnat. And I crushed the fuck out of it. Like, on it in midair. <laughs> Give me a moment. I gotta wash my hands now. Because I, I clapped it between my hands and now there's bug guts all over them.
Sorry about that. I had to clap that fucking bug out of the sky. Because it was distracting the fuck out of me. Because it was like hovering around in my in my screen. And it made it hard as fuck to be able to focus on what I'm doing. And my brain is already split as it is. Just trying to fucking play this game while streaming, you know? I don't need a third distractor coming in here and saying, Hey, I'm gonna fucking fly in front of your screen. Have fun. I don't need that shit. Well, there we go. It, oh, wow, that was too late. Damn, what weird timing. There we go. Ick. No, fine. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, dude, how am I fucking this up so bad? Christ. May I get some water in with the coffee? There we go. Yeah, that stupid tall vampire thing. Yeah, I'm good. I've already commented on that. I'm just trying to talk. That's all. I mean, sure, there's plenty of people who fucking thirst after Maria, too. But I'm like, y'all understand that she's uh, not exactly a good character, either. Like, she fucked up big time. There's a reason why she's fucking trying to kill herself when you meet her. But at least she has the remorse to be feeling guilt, I suppose. A lot of people just... I forget what the word is. People dog all over Garman all the time, and they completely just are like, But Maria's such an angel. And I'm like, mm-mm. Nope. Airman's an old coot that you gotta kill, too, but, you know, again, they were kind of both in it. I landed the parry. Ugh. I probably should wait to do this, you know? Oh. It would also help if I could just shut the fuck up and actually, like, play. What the hell was that jump? I didn't want to jump! God damn it. Uh, circle to jump is such a bad input. Eh. I wonder if there's a way, if there's a tool someone made to force that. I would absolutely jailbreak my PS4 just to give it circle to fucking not jump. Because that would be... Okay. Okay, people are like, use the shield. People are saying to re recommend the use of a shield, because it apparently, when you're blocking... Well, that's not the button I wanted. When you're, when you're doing this... But didn't know I was lied to. 
Yeah, nah, that's a lie. So the reason why old, if someone's playing like Dark Souls Prepare to Die or like the old OG Dark Souls, you'll see people who are sprinting around with their shield up all the time. And it's not because they're trying to block stuff. They're trying to sprint and be able to roll. That's what they're doing. Because in Dark Souls 1, holding up your shield meant that you could fucking... <clears throat> holding up your shield meant that you could roll while you're sprinting without jumping, because the block would absorb the input for jump. It just would, it would stop you from jumping altogether. And someone mentioned that it's, it works like that in Bloodborne, apparently, but I was just holding the shield up. And it, it didn't do nothing. So, Bloodborne is just the black sheep of the family when it comes to that kind of input problem. Just gotta deal with it. Just gotta deal with it. Just gotta not be so sprinty when I'm fighting bosses. That's the main, like, fix to that. Mm-hmm. Nice. I hate that that hits you when she, when you're behind her. That's that is such a stupid hitbox. Oh, that's such a stupid hitbox. What a fucking dumb hitbox. Still, I prefer this fight over fucking just a freedom. Right through the fog. That's the other thing, is I mix the tell between that one and the other one. They're very similar tells. And my brain doesn't always register that they're the same, that they're like different directions. See? Very similar looking wind ups. It's very, very easy for a dumbass like me to mix up. You see that nonsense at the top, at the bottom right there? You do see that. Let me try something. I don't know what the fuck this go. Is. I don't know what that is. Let's see. Hopefully, that's not like the capture card going bad. Weird. I don't know when that started. I don't like that. That's not. Not very fun. I'm sorry about that. That's probably gonna bug you all now. I don't know what the fuck that is. I, I'm I'm assuming it's just a capture card problem. But the thing is, I've never noticed that until just now. If it's been there the whole time. Hmm. Okay. Some of these deaths, I just don't get a chance to do anything. I need to stop talking and actually hardcore focus on this shit. Because it's just... Me trying to run my stupid mouth is actually being counterintuitive to this shit. I hope y'all can't hear the fucking... Air conditioner. It's like, what is today's weather? It's warm out there. It's actually kind of warm out there. Yeah, 73. Oh, fuck. I need to... I'll be right back. I need to put a, put the tarp over the bag right now. It's, it, it's gonna rain soon. And I need to take care of that real quick. Hold up.
There we go. Sorry about that. I hate when I have to stop everything I'm doing like that mid midstream and then take care of something like that, but that's just the life of a, of a mom. It's just how it is. Put the tarp on the fucking bag so it won't be rained on. I could just bring it in, sure, but that would require having to drain all the water out. And right now that thing's close to 300 fucking pounds. So, <laughs> I ain't fucking doing that. Not right now. I could probably do it if I really needed to, but for now, the tarp stays. <laughs> Don't know why I shot. Well. Ah, I hate those half parries. Like, if I take damage, I shouldn't fucking land it at all. Because it just wastes a bullet, and it wastes an opportunity at a visceral. Nice. Nice hit! What the fuck?! You can't do that with the Rakuyo! I know I sure as fuck can't, that's not how that thing works! Actually, it's a flurry, which means it's easier to parry. I opened the window a little bit, too, so we'll see what the fuck happens. It's supposed to be rainy today. Tonight. My controller fell! I'm trying to adjust things. Life is conspiring against me. Eh. Holy fuck. You could probably hear me moving things around. Yeah, nah. This window, not happening. I'm closing this fucker. It's too- it's not, like, cold enough outside to warrant using it as a ventilation. Or something. Warm out there. Too fucking warm out there right now. There we go. <laughs> I'm just all over the place today. Nice. I just... There we go. I don't have the good blood rapture. Don't even let me do anything, just... Sure. Don't even let me have a chance to do nothing. Just stun lock me out of it, that's fine. I don't- I don't deserve any kind of chance to do anything. Okay, I finally got that! Just need to remember that that's the timing for it. When I see her just about to move forward like that is when you time it. Like that, yeah. Uh. Don't shoot me! Shoot me! <laughs> like that one child. With the squirt gun. Like the little spray bottle. Shoot me! <laughs> Sorry for not streaming Tuesday, by the way. I put an announcement in the Discord saying that I wasn't going to stream Tuesday, but... Not everybody that watches this will be in that Discord. And that's fine. It's not like... It's not a very active one, really. Nice. Just don't give me any kind of chance to do fucking anything. That's, that's fine. Ah, oh, I keep fucking off that one specific parry, and it's just like, Hi, I'm not gonna let you do anything. You're just not allowed! <laughs> not allowed! Ugh! I 
I have to give her the fucking Sister Frida treatment. That's kind of why I'm being so, like, distant, distanced from her. Because that's what you do with Frida, is you wait until certain attacks happen, and then you punish those specific attacks. The problem with that, though, is that her final phase doesn't quite allow for that. Her second and third phases kind of don't allow for that. The, the thing, the difference here, though, is that unlike Sister Frida, like, a lot of attacks that Maria does can be punished. So I don't have to just wait for one specific thing. Nice mutual shooting. Holy god damn, the range! I'm just not allowed to do nothing! Fucking get out of here. How would you like it if I spammed up your ass? Not fun, is it? You can't actually stun lock her like later phases either. Nice. Ow. I can just heal that up. Or just get knocked down instantly, that's fine too. Could you imagine how much worse it could be if she could parry your heals? That's a thing that players can do to each other. If you time it right, you can actually parry somebody's heal. You can stop somebody from healing. Okay. Right. This is that phase where you gotta learn how to fucking parry her. Staying your distance won't do shit. Give me my HP back! Love this fight, though. Despite my belly aching, I fucking love this fight. Oof. If it were third phase, I would not have been able to avoid that. That reaction was just too late. But yeah, you see how she isn't staggering from what I'm doing now? You can't do that to her later phases. Nice! Just completely obliterate me. That's fine. I get- I deserve zero chances. I'm a total asshole who doesn't deserve anything. <laughs> God. That's why you just parry her. You can't just trade with her. You just can't. And because of the range her attacks take up during that phase, nope. You get... You, no. You cannot just stay away from her. You, you just can't. You have to parry her. You could, if you could try to dodge through it, you know, and I'm sure there are probably safe spots, but I ha in order for me to be able to... Uh, alright. Lady, listen. You're the reason why nobody likes dex build. <laughs> Oof. Can you believe there are people who actually follow that kind of thought? Who are people like, ew, dex builds. How dare you play a dex build? Like, fucking hell. And it's, just, it's the other way around, too. You have people who are like, ew, you're playing a strength build? And I'm like... <laughs> Most of the time, it's just people just fucking around and ribbing with each other. But there are people who are genuinely like that, though. And it's kind of sad. Hell, I met one person who fucking... Who hated sorcerer characters. 
with a burning fucking passion. And I'm like, why? Like, why do you care so much? Just let people play the way they want. Nice. Nope! Like, sure, there are things that are annoying to deal with, but, like, you know, what the hell, man? Pretty much everything has its own annoyances. I'm gonna go level up a bit. I'm getting sick of being, like, killed in two hits to this bitch, and I need HP. Like, bad. I need HP, and I need defenses. So, I'm gonna come back in, like, 30 fucking levels, because I am... Yeah, I'm good. I'm losing my patience with this boss. I need a better margin of error. This isn't the same kind of game as Dark Souls 3. Because Dark Souls 3, I can just play Soul Level 40 all damn day. It'll get frustrating towards the end, but for the most part, it's just... Eh. It's just whatever. But this game, I can't do that. There's just too much going on. It's too overwhelming of a game. I, I just can't do that. That reminds me, I haven't forgotten. I haven't forgotten about the Soul Level 1 runs and all that shit. Like, I have yet to finish that no healing run and all that shit. Ow. Excuse me. Yeah, I need vial. I need... Vials? What am I saying? My speech is so fucked up today. And then again, it's always fucked up. It's never not fucked up. Like, it's a wonder anybody can listen to me talk because it's so aggravating to hear myself talk. Because my brain is sitting here going like, just get to the fucking point already and stop stumbling over yourself like a dumbass. You know? I try to be patient with myself about these things, but just, man... I don't know. There we go. I don't even know if I have the... No. Nice. What runes? Do, do I have the runes on? I do, actually. Good. Because I need to do some echo farming and stuff. I need to do echo farming. I need to level up and stuff. Huh? Oh, hi. Yeah, I just need to bulk up my stats a little bit better. Because I'm not doing shit for damage to Maria, and she takes out a huge chunk of my HP per hit. Very easy to forget that I'm a good 30 levels behind where I should be to be fighting Maria. Like, I need to have at least, like, 35 vitality, I think. Nice. There's one pig down. What are you doing? Nice. Pig. Pig. <laughs> Get behind you. Now, you have to be careful. These guys do have a back, backwards kick. Ah, early. I'm not used to that. Nice. Where are you going? Jesus.
Have you seen somebody struggle so damn hard to kill one pig? Uh, it's 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 fucking embarrassing how bad I am at this game. Been playing it for like a year now. I forget when I got this damn PS4. I think it was like June of last year or something like that. So less than a year. Ow. That fire is ouching. Them ouching flames are not fun. Come back here. Fuck you. Whee. Nice. I like me some vials. Look at this fucking guy. He's got a ball on a stick. What a chuckle fuck. Tonitrus is actually a really fun weapon. That's also a ball on a stick, but it's a zappy ball on a stick. I'm on the home stretch to reaching level 60 with my mystic. And then the real work begins. Why do I say that? Because I'm trying to reach level like 60. I'm trying to max that character out. I, f I think it's 65. I don't remember if it's 63 or 65. I want to max that character out, though, because I have yet to actually hit max level with any of the characters. I have, like, eight of them. Most of them, except for two, are awakened already. I have yet to awaken my Guardian in my lawn. Guardian just gets, like, a big battle axe. Like, a giant axe. Lawn gets, like, a pair of curved swords. Curved swords. I awaken my sorceress, my ranger, my dark knight. My mystic. There's one more I have that I awaken that I can't remember what the fuck it is. My witch, my witch. I need to have- I need to buy more character slots at some point. I'm not gonna be spending, like, pearls on it, though. I'm like... What I'm gonna end up doing, I think, is just save up my loyalties. Because you get these, like, loyalty coins... ...every day for playing the game. And also for just clocking hours in, really, but mostly just from playing every day. I know, people are probably going to end up wanting me to stop talking about Black Desert. It's the Kring titty jiggle fighting game. I get it. I mainly just play for the socializing at this point. You know how people play fucking World of Warcraft for that for that reason? Yeah, that's how I am with Black Desert at this point. I don't really play it for the PvP. I play it mostly just to chill out and talk to people. It's the socializing I get in my life that isn't just streaming. You know? Because, like, everybody kind of needs that in their life somehow, right? And it's not, like... It's not... <sighs> Socializing in general is not the easiest fucking thing to be doing right now. And it's kind of sad. But that's just how it is. Let's 
definitely kind of sad to see, like, a bunch of people who are... Around the same age I am, sometimes slightly younger, sometimes slightly older, and they're like, I don't know how the fuck to socialize with other people. Those pigs can hurt the f Yo! Yo, no shit. Now I gotta fuck around with this. <laughs> now I gotta fuck around with this. I'm just talking I'm just talking bullshit about how um just socializing in general these days is a very hard thing for people to be doing. You know, if you don't already have a friend, a circle of people to be talking to and hanging around, it's kind of hard to find one. You know? And I've been in and out of several different places for varying reasons. That's just how it is, you know? People come and go in your life. Wow. I'm surprised that last hit didn't hit me. Oh. Nice. Stop. <sighs> you know, I have to apologize for not being on the stream. Nobody's holding you at gunpoint and saying... Be here to be square. You know? It's not... There's no pressure there. Pig. He's a big pig, yum yum. There we go. How many times am I going to die to that exact move because I'm not paying attention? COVID. Yeah. Yeah, COVID has definitely brought a lot of very nasty qualities out of people. It, it really has. But at the same time, you know, I don't know. Ow. Hey, do that. Let's go this way. I hate fighting winter lanterns, but I need their gems. I, I need something because the gems I have now kind of need replacement. That's part of why my damage is so shitty right now. The other thing being that my stats are just garbage. I need to raise my stats up more. But yeah, the problem with socializing right now, or just in general really, is just it's really hard to find... To, to settle on a group of people? It's weird how it works. Oof. Don't grab. No grape. We're good. I hate that the fucking frenzy starts draining HP at random like that. Actually, it's not really random. I think once you have a certain, like, frenzy spear stuck in you, it starts actually hurting you. In addition to the shit that frenzy does. Which is just another reason why Winter Lanterns suck ass to fight. I should probably put on the, uh, the eye rune. Since I'm more looking for gems from these things. That grabbed me from all the way over there. Can you fucking believe it? Jeez, that's a stupid enemy. What a stupid fucking enemy, man. There's no reason for that to have grabbed me from that far away. That's dumb.
Yeah. I feel that. To a degree, though, I feel like it's just what happens when you start making friends mostly on the internet, though, instead of in person. It's di it's just different when you can start making those connections with people you can talk to in person, face to face. Which is partly why, like... If I'm gonna go out of my way to be friends with somebody, I make it a small goal to at least... Give that person a chance to listen to my voice at least once. Right? And that can be through me streaming or just through a voice call. You know... Yeah, I'm hyper aware of my own shitty voice because I sound like a creepy... You know, homunculus, but... You know... Some things are just... Kind of better that way. You know, sometimes you need to... I don't know. I don't fucking know. There comes a point, I guess, where you just... I don't even know... I completely lost my thought. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't fucking worry about it. It doesn't matter. It's not like anybody's gonna take what I'm saying seriously anyway. Like, why would anybody take some shit that a dumbass like me has to say? Yeah, cursed fools. Yeah, I know, I'm a fool. That's your- that's your opinion, and that is your preference, dude. But you- Like, that's- I hate winter lanterns! Holy fuck! What an infuriating fucking enemy, man. Whoever designed them did a damn good job of making a very fucking hard to deal with enemy. Like, god damn, those things piss me off. Like, I killed that fucker and I still died. Like, god, what a stupid goddamn enemy. Ugh! God, I hate those things. God, I fucking hate those things. Fucking infuriating pieces of shit. Increases stamina. That's so bad. That's so fucking bad. But I need the gems, so it's it's suffering that's worthwhile for now. But yeah, like... I think the thing that you and a lot of other people forget is that the people you talk to while you're at work and on the job is usually going to be a very different case from people that you literally tabletop with, you know? You're not going to be tabletop gaming with some fucking schmuck from the that you talk to from the from the goddamn grocery store because usually there's that frustration of customer service that you have to deal with very uh that hit me through the goddamn wall <laughs> the annoyance that these fuckers bring is too damn high die i goddamn hate winter lanterns <laughs> Hate him. Hate him. Actually. I don't know, maybe I'm just stubborn and stupid. I mean, look at me going with these fucking winter lanterns, right? Ain't no- you don't need much more evidence than that. But... 
I feel like if I just succumb to being completely fucking antisocial for my whole life, then that just makes me a sketchy as fuck human being that shouldn't be trusted, I guess. Because usually you have psychopaths who do that kind of shit. And those there, 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 there's a reason why people are super duper sketchy when it comes to antisocial people. And I don't want to be one of those people. You know? I get enough of those looks just for being trans as it is. I don't need to give people even more reason to kind of think that way about me. And... Maybe I'm stupid and old-fashioned, but I'm of the firm belief that it's super important to have a circle of friends to support you when you need it most. Because having multiple perspectives on issues can prove invaluable at times. You gonna move or not? Go. Let's back off. Frenzy's about to proc. Hit once. We're good. <laughs> drop pebbles. Oof. They drop pebbles. How's my durability looking? Not good! Do I have cold blood on me? I do. Good. We're fine then. I hate Winter Lanterns so fucking much. Can you even parry them? I wonder if you can parry them. I need to figure that out. I completely missed it, didn't I? I wasn't even paying attention. Oh well. Because, like, the problem with that these fuckers is, is not really their physical attacks. Their grab can be bullshit, but it's mostly just the stupid fucking frenzy that makes it so goddamn annoying. Because, as the frenzy builds up, you start losing HP. And when it, bu and it builds up fucking quick. And when you're grabbed, it fucking still applies frenzy over time. Let me see. Nah. I'm not even gonna bother trying to par parry these fucking assholes. These fuckers don't deserve the time sp spent to be trying to parry them. They just don't. These fucking assholes. Only reliable way to kill them is to just spam R2. Cursed Adept Blood Gem. Is that for thrust or is it for blunt? Thrust. Oh my god! That fucking weapon! Ugh! No! But you know what that's going on to? Church pick! 
Once I get my hands on the church pick, that's going there. Why? Because the church pick does entirely thrust damage. It does no other type of damage. Aside from righteous, I guess, but... God, I hate those things. Back up. Yeah. Fuck those things. Radiant. Really? Cursed Radiant Gem. I forget what Radiant does. Stamina? Reduce stamina costs. Hmm. Hack down. Attack versus beasts down. I wonder if I could put that nourishing gem on in that slot because it's a greater attack value. It's a greater percentage. It's a greater multiplier than just the straight up physical. The main thing I'm trying to replace though. Oh, there's that. I completely forgot that that was a thing because I die every time I get here. I may as well just put that in the fucking triangle gem slot. Because the triangle gem is the main one I was trying to replace. But circle of friends are still a thing. Going back to the other topic, like, they are still a thing. You know, look at Critical, look at Vinny, look at, you know... There are people out there who still maintain and manage circles of friends out there, right? They've The difference is that they've had those friends for a while. And that's kind of different than trying to worm your way into one. But it still kind of reinforces... I guess the point still stands that... It's possible, I guess is all I'm trying to say, right? And... For someone like me, it's kind of important because I just, I don't have the same kind of job that most other people do that allows me to just kind of go out and talk to people all the time. I don't know. Yes, but... You don't see them talking to specific people just because they're popular, do you? They've been talking to the same group of friends for who the fuck knows how long. And you also have to remember that... Especially with, like, Critical's case? You know... The, he meets the people he does because they're actually mature enough to understand... The idea of not taking a joke too seriously. I don't know. Kind of disingenuous and jaded to sit here and tell me that it's not important just because they're they're popular people. You know, like... Okay. <laughs> well, what about all those people out there who, man who manage to assemble games of fucking Warhammer every week? Or, you know, who go to... Magic the Gathering games every so often. Like, are you really trying to argue that? Really? Maybe I'm just stupid, but I feel like I've outgrown the whole you know, who needs friends kind of mentality. Because I used to have that mentality in high school, and it got me absolutely nowhere except in house arrest. I was extremely fucking aggressive towards people without even really needing to be. I had a lot of pent up garbage and frustration that I ended up releasing onto people that didn't deserve it. But over time, 
something that streaming and just trying to talk to people in general has kind of helped is just mature a little bit. And that's not just... I mean, the homelessness shit helped too. I think having been homeless is what turned me from just a girl to a woman, right? Ready to face what's going on in the world. And even then, there's just... I don't know. Well, there's the th other thing to remember, and the that thing to remember is... It's not easy. It's just not an easy thing. There's a reason why so many people have just given up, right? The, 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 the statement of, who has friends to play with anyways? You know, that... Oh god, that HP have! Let's take care of the stupid gun guy first. <laughs> that laugh! Oh, I love that guy's laugh. Nice. But, like, it's not an- I'm not trying to sit here and say that it's an easy thing to do. I know it's not easy, but... There's a reason why the people who do find their way to a circle like that, that that is supportive of them. Like, they stick with that circle. Wait a minute. Am I dumb? A church pick guy. He's, he's just gonna stand there. I... I don't know. It's an argument that it's never fucking ending. I think people need to just stop being such antisocial douchebags. That's what I think. That's what I fucking think. You wonder why the internet is such a shithole? You have all these people who have no frame of reference of what reality is, and how to talk to people, and how to be around people, and then you have all these fucking people flooding the internet, and then they start starting up ar arguments and bullshit with other people. People they don't even fucking know. And they start talking to them as if they fucking know better. When they haven't been talking to anybody outside of their own damn family, if they even do that, for the past, like, five, ten years, you know? And they'll try to tell you how... Why waste your time on people? People are terrible. People are horrible. You can't trust people. They're they're horrible. They'll do horrible shit to you. And I'm sitting here, you know, I, I do nothing but idle and talk to people when I'm not streaming or doing something. Right? And honestly, I have yet to actually find any drama. Pe most of the time, people with their heads screwed on right don't go out of their way to screw you over for the hell of it. People, believe it or fucking not, can actually be relatively pleasant things to be around. I know it's a shocking fucking revelation, but... You know... This kind of thing is why I hate the fucking internet so much. It's like the whole of humanity has regressed away from being mature, right? And gone right back into that edgy, quiet kid phase in high school. Where all, all anybody does is keep as much distance from each other as they can. You know, and then they wonder why they are the ones that are seen as shifty. I'm no expert, but with what little time I've had on this fucking planet, I at least 
feel like... You're, if you're that willing to give up on something like that, then why the fuck should you try for anything else in life? <laughs> you know? If if you can if you can't handle the task that is just talking to people without how do I want to say this like it's such a small thing I guess like sure I have my problems you know I'm still working on them but that's kind of what life is about we're all in this together, right? And not everything can just be solved by yourself or with the help of one other person. That's just not how that's not how life works. This is not. Well, that's just asking for problems that are already pre-existing to just kind of persist, man. Why am I trying this again? Didn't I say I was gonna level the fuck up before trying this more? I mean, I'll try it again. I'm already here. Why the fuck not? But I distinctly remember saying that I was going to level up more. So I was a little more on par stats-wise. And that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. I'm... It's... <sighs> I need to learn how to get the fuck good anyway, right? There's only so much that can really dampen the difficulty of this. I don't know, I... Uh, something I think some people really need to... Oh, I mistimed that big time. A big thing I see commonly forgotten is that you can't just sit there. I need to heal up. I don't know. Fuck, dude. I feel like my gunshots go over her half the time. And that's the problem with Evelyn, really, is that it's such a s long gun. It's a long gun! It takes an awfully long gun to land a long shot. Which actually isn't that far from the truth! <laughs> Uh-oh. Nice. I can't see anything. Ow. Lingery. Just like Abyss Watchers. Get up. Visceral? No visceral. Because I'm not allowed. That actually wasn't a bad attempt. It's gonna... If I keep this up, though, it's gonna bleed me dry of vials and bullets. Sniper rifles, yeah. <clears throat> Thinking over it, you know, this is partly... This is partly what makes me so eager to move to a different country in general, though. Because the all-time... The general trust for one another that in... Here in the U.S., at least, has just plummeted. Right? This is something that Valk pointed out quite quite aptly last night. The idea of the nuclear family and stranger danger definitely plummeted the general trust of each other here, right? How can you have a uni like a unified people if everybody's treating each other like they're like they're a fucking danger to each other? You know what I'm saying? Like I understand you got to teach your child to not be too trusting of people you don't know because of predators and shit but when you when you take that message and you say well why should you trust anybody for any reason 
and then you wonder why everybody here is a crazed gun nut. And why we have so many fucking crazy people here that are able to go unhinged while owning weapons that really a, an unhinged person really shouldn't own because they're a danger to themselves as much as they are to everybody else. I want to leave this place for shit like that, man. I'd rather live in a place that actually encourages people to be a little more interconnected and respectfully of each other. Well, that's the that's the thing though. It shouldn't be that way. You can't say that. That's just that's you know what that sounds suspiciously like? That sounds like the uh the guilty until proven innocent kind of thing. Isn't this entire place kind of based on the idea that someone is innocent until proven guilty? Like, you don't know that person's life, so why the fuck are you judging them? What the fuck do you know about their life? Who are you to judge? You could be shifty to them for all they know. You don't like it when people make unfair judgments about you. And as a fellow trans person, you should 100% understand that feeling. So wh who the fuck are you to project that th kind of shit onto other people? Like, do you understand the hypocrisy behind that kind of mentality? And why, like, it's just sad to see that it's just not fucking leaving this place? It's the same shit as just... Why do you care? It's the same kind of thing as the fucking old ass woman who sits out front and complains about someone else's fucking car. You know, why the fuck do you care? Like, sure, technically everybody can be shifty as shit until proven otherwise, but you know what? Generally speaking, they're not going to be that way. They're just not. Name the number of times that you have outwardly been attacked by somebody just walking the street to work. You know? I don't know. We're people. We're not scared fucking animals. That's all I'm trying to say. Again, it's not like it's a personal specific problem, but it's just a it's a very broad issue that just seems to cover a lot of where we live. Cuz everyone feels that way for for people. I'd rather just be somewhere that actually has interconnected people. I want a sense of community again. Sorry, Windows was trying to get tell me to update my computer. Which I'm not doing. Not right now. I can wait. I understand it's hard. I understand it's hard. That's why I'm trying to help provide at least a rather semi-logical way of disputing that, I guess. It sounds more condescending when I say it. And I try really hard not to sound that way. You know what I'm saying? I, I I try not to. It just comes out that way sometimes. And I don't I don't really mean to be an asshole about it. But like it's it's a very hard mentality to unlearn. It really fucking is. Let me put th th put something this way. Everybody's a fucking degenerate. There there is no such thing as someone who isn't a fucking degenerate. There are only varying degrees of degenerate. You know? It depends on how you on why you see them as a degenerate and for what reason. 
Did I say why for in two different ways? I meant to say how you see them as a degenerate and why, I guess, is the way I wanted to put that. I've completely stopped trying to get into people's Discord servers, primarily because it's just... <sighs> I, Discord is one thing I have not really had many good experiences with. You have all these people who are in like 12, 13 different servers, and I'm sitting here in just three, right? Because for the most part, when I try to be social in one, there's usually problems that arise. I don't know. But I think that's just a... It might just be a personal issue. You know? It, there, there's, there is something to be said for. When you see everybody having problems, have you ever considered it might just be you that has the problem and not everyone else? I mistimed the fuck out of that every single time it happens. That di should have hit me, but didn't. Thank you, vampire lady, for being merciful. Nice. Now we can steal her clothing. I also need to go grab the Rakuyo as well, but I also kind of want to use the church pick. I don't know. I put this much effort into using the fucking the Chikagi, so what the fuck? The back of her chair looks like a fucking mirror. <laughs> if I didn't see that was leather, I'd have been like, why is her fuck the back of her chair reflective? I'm gonna go pee real quick. This coffee's running right through me. Anyway, now I get to actually read your message. I think the other thing to kind of remember is that when somebody blows you off, like, they're not specifically trying to blow you off as a personal vendetta. Everyone's got a life. People are busy. This is kind of why the idea of, hey, you know, I want to talk a little more. Here's my Discord or here's my phone number if you want. You know, we can talk a little bit. Because everyone's got a life, like you said very aptly. This is kind of why the whole idea of planning things ahead of time, or whatever, you know? That, that kind of shit is a thing for a reason. Fish people. <laughs> I should, I should level. <laughs> I got a lot of echoes out of that shit. I should level. Well, that just comes with the whole trying to get used to being around a, a person after you... How do I want to put this? It's not an easy mental change, right? 
understandably, some people are going to be a little, like, confused. But I don't think anybody's going to think worse of you for it. Some people out there will, but that they've had issues regarding minorities in general. It's not just people who are trans. It's not just people who are gay. It's not just people who are X-thing. Their people, those those people specifically, have been outwardly against minorities that are not like them 100% for who knows how long. And the fact of the matter is, those kinds of people aren't all over the place. I mean, they are, but it's not as plentiful as the internet might make it seem like it is. And that's the other thing I hate about the internet, is that it just... It's so easy for things like that to be put on full blast, under the spotlight, all the time, that it's very easy to forget when... It's very easy to forget that things like that aren't always the fucking case. And most of the time, it's, it's shit that doesn't matter. You know, those people are getting upset about something they can't control. You know, it's not like they can sit there and fucking hogtie someone to a fucking train track and say, you know, undo your shit or die. Well, yeah. A lot of the time I find it's easier to present myself to people as just woman, you know? Because people oftentimes are more confused with the former with the prefix, right? It's the prefix that really confuses the shit out of people. And I don't like to wear that as a badge. You know, people don't need to know every aspect of that shit, right? All that matters is that they know who I am, and that's that. It's not really about not no longer seeing myself as a trans individual, right? It's just about... Actually, no, maybe that is. I don't know what I'm talking about completely. You know, this is something I stumble through just as much as anybody else does. I'm no expert. At all. <laughs> but the way that's made it easier for me is just... I'm just a funny-sounding... Chick. You know? I'm just a funny-sounding lou. Little gal. Lou. Lou 9000. And if somebody asks questions beyond that, then I'll happily a I'll happily answer, right? Instead of kind of giving them a weird look and saying it's none of their business, I'll be like, well, here's why. You know, I'm in the middle of a very transformative experience. You know, it's not easy, and it's not an an it's not a thing I can just opt out of at any time. It, just like any other mental condition, is something that needs to be medicated and taken care of. Because at the end of the day, that's kind of what it is. It's a mental condition. And I found that most people who do ask about that stuff are not asking because they're grossed out or disgusted by it. They're just genuinely curious about how it works. And there are still a lot of very deep misconceptions about how it works, you know. There's there's a lot of them. And that's kind of why, like, I'm always happy to answer people's questions. It's a very awkward topic to talk about, sure, but... You know what? It's only as weird as you fucking make it. You don't have to be fucking weird. If you find it weird, you're the one making it fucking weird. Simple as that. It's no different than somebody wanting X type of cosmetic surgery because that's a lot of what I have to go through of eventually is, you know, it's it's a lot of cosmetic changes so that people finally stop seeing me as a weird looking homunculus. <laughs>
And, you know, I'm at a point where I just kind of don't care anyway. Like, I was talking to the neighbor not too long ago while I was setting up the punching bag. You know, he, he accidentally fucking called me a he and shit, but I didn't care. I'm like, who cares? There's a puppy dog, and I want to say hi to the dog, you know? It's a very understandable slip that everybody is going to make at one point or another. And this is kind of where it links into the previous subject of not people oftentimes aren't meaning to be Well, yeah, this is where it links into our previous topic of people are too afraid of each other. You know, you have people who we have to thank for pretty much ruining that shit for us. Because, as it stands, everything's fun in games until the one person comes along and ruins it for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Just like with copyright, just like with... Uh, anything, really. This can apply to anything. All it takes is that one fucking person to ruin it for everybody. You know? Like, we have an unfortunate number of people who aren't genuinely trying to go through the process. You have people who hide behind it as a label to try and excuse their bad behavior. Because they see people who have to go through shit and they think, well, if I hide behind that, I could probably get away with my disgusting shit. And so they pretend to be this thing. And when that doesn't work, they swap to a different label, thinking that it's just, it's just that easy. And those people are the ones that ruin it for everybody. They are not as common as it might seem. But they definitely put a big enough dent in things to make it seem like there's a lot of them. Oh, wow. I fucking missed. God damn. Nice. I think it's easy to forget, though, that it's... Oh, I fucking did that too early. It's easy to forget that it's a mental condition that needs treatment. It's just not the same kind of thing as, say, ADHD. It's not the same thing as ADHD or... Or being schizoaffective or... Or being on the autism spectrum it's not quite the same but it still needs to be treated in in the same way as those do it's just a different kind of treatment like i still have to i have to put these fucking stupid little blue tablets under my tongue every single fucking day at pretty much the exact same time and that's in addition to another two type of pills and it's it's either do that or get injections, but it's still treatment. It's still a treatment that needs to happen. You know? I still want to know if you can parry those fucking things. I'll put that on for now. Since I'm trying to actually get gems out of them. Actually, you know what I should do? I should sprint through the... The fishing hamlet. Because there's two winter lanterns in there. 
that are more annoying to deal with, but they drop better gems more often. It's not quite as super min maxy as going through each of the chalice dungeons and beating bosses over and over for gems, but it's faster. It's faster than doing that. That's for damn sure. But I think the thing to remember is that people in general are scared of people that have those kinds of, uh, what's the word for it? Neurodivergencies, I think is the word for it. Because you can argue that being trans is technically a neurodivergency. I'm being stunned out of my life and fucking blood. I was mashing circle, by the way. I was mashing circle to try and get out of that, and it just didn't work. I was just constantly fucking stun locked. And that's why Fishing Hamlet pisses me off, because it is full of shit like that. <clears throat> but I think a common thing that people need to remember is that we all have problems of varying kinds. Everybody does. There is no... There is no such thing as a perfect mind that is completely devoid of issues. That's just not how it works they will some people out there would love for you to believe otherwise but there's just not everyone has their issues everyone has their issues these issues comes in all different shapes sizes and colors and that's kind of where quad he's a friend of mine is somebody I really kind of look up to for that kind of thing because he doesn't he's not ashamed of his 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 state of of, of his mental mental condition he's just not it's a part of who he is and he's embraced that and that's something that not everybody does a lot of people would rather completely forget that that kind of shit is out there really Because oftentimes it gets a lot of really bad publicity. You get people who are demonized for that shit through television. Oh, psycho guy goes and kills people. Let's make a giant fucking um, true crime scene out of it. Why did they do the crime? Well, because they had this mental condition. And they don't do that shit like completely out of ill will. I would like to think. It's mostly just like... It's just... Oh yeah, we get to fucking Pebble Brador. I have to beat his stupid shade though. Nice. Yeah, you just hurt yourself for me. That's fine. I'm okay with this. Please. Just forget that you're goddamn... God damn it! I can do that too, asshole. <laughs> Fuck you. Brador's testimony. Alright, Brador, you asked for it. Shut the fuck up! I'm, I'm not here to kill you, I'm just here to play catch. Alright? Catch. <laughs> nice. Nice. I win. Blood letter. 
one of the few strength blood tinge weapons in the game. I keep thinking Logarius' wheel is a strength blood tinge weapon, but I'm pretty sure it's arcane. I'm pretty sure it's just arcane. I've only picked it up like once. Yeah, it's Strength Arcane, that's what I thought. Yep, one of two weapons, the other being the Whirligig Saw, that can reach an S scaling in Strength. And it's also Arcane. It, like, the Chikagi does the whole, like, ew, ouch, owie, my fucking HP kind of thing. That kind of thing is the other reason why I live as shamelessly as I do, frankly. Like, I, ex I exercise self-control, but I'm not ashamed of the things that make me who I am. Why should I be? Why, sh why should I be ashamed of who the fuck I am, you know? Sure, I'm not a typical person, but I don't- there's no real- I don't know. There's no benefit in hiding things that make me who the fuck I am, you know? There's no benefit to that. All it does is just make me look weirder and sketchier compared to other people. Nice. Stop that! Just stop that shit. Oh, I went the wrong fucking way. Oh well. Beast hide garb. Garb. It's okay. I went the wrong way anyway, so... What? That should've killed me. You couldn't even kill me. Oh. Thank you. I don't wanna just... Waste another fucking bold mark. Yeah, I went the wrong way, like a dumbass. Wait a minute. I'm miss- there's something missing. I guess you do have to follow Simon's little- little dialogue quest in order to get his bow blade. Unless he's just still at the nightmare. Which if he is, then- okay, fine. Whatever. Bloodied armbands. Nope. Nope. You ain't hitting me with that shit. There have been times where that lightning strike hits me while I'm going down and it's put this whole run to a sharp end, like a full stop. Nice. Good shit, boy. Good shit, boy. Arr. Fucking goofy ass enemy. <laughs> the great menacing man worm in his jump. Nice. Now, I just gotta open the shortcut. Nice. Bye. There's a gem right below us.
<sighs> yeah, people, people are scared of things that they're not used to. And you have to remember, our condition, not just as trans people, but in a lot of ways, not just that one way, our conditions are things that people aren't necessarily fucking used to, you know? Everybody's a degenerate, whether they like it or not, whether they're willing to admit that or not, it don't change the truth. Everybody's a fucking degenerate, you know? If somebody is allowed to sit there and openly put, like, Old Man McGee on AARP monthly, because they know that's what gets people fucking excited. Damn it! You know, if people are allowed to do that shit, honestly, why the fuck am I not allowed to be... as be outward with the shit that I like, you know? It's not the same pop and R&B that is very popular in my local area. And it's not the same kind of metal that a lot of people think of when they hear the term metal. But you know what? Fine. It's different. And you know what? That gives people an, an, an opportunity to experience something that's very different from what they're used to listening to or seeing or whatever. We as people, as human beings, thrive off of these things, whether we like it or not. If, the, if everything was cut and dry the same all the time... It'd be such a boring life to lead. Back up. How did that grab me? God, I hate these fucking things. What a dumbass enemy, man. Now I'm dead. What a fucking dumbass enemy. Like... Ugh. Lanterns! I vehemently hate them! I vehemently fucking hate them. But the gems they drop are nice. They can drop very fucking nice gems. They ain't the greatest compared to some of the stuff you can get to fully min-max yourself out. But you know what? I don't play PvP and I don't give enough of a shit to completely min-max myself. So this serves its purpose. It's just annoying. There we go, there's one down. Just save myself from the ouching of the frenzy. We good. And of course they do nothing but drop bullets. That's great, amazing, just what I needed. Uh. Ooh, circle gem. That's a circle gem. Yep. Put that on the on the on the fucking min max Chikagi. I mean I could fucking farm that out if I really cared. But yeah, I don't really care. Fucking... The dungeons are just not fun. They're just not. The ones that are predetermined are barely, de like, balanced as it is. The root ones are so much worse.
I don't mean to be a boring motherfucker. I just need to farm. I need to farm for a little bit. What really sucks is that I have to kill those lanterns before I can even think about grabbing the Rukuyo. Every single time I try to attempt that, that go for the Rukuyo, I have to kill those two. Because they will see me, they will give me that frenzy shit. And that is just not what you want when you're fighting shark giants. Like, I hate winter lanterns, but I hate shark giants even fucking more. I hate those fuckers even more. Heal. God, it takes up so many goddamn vials. Striking. I forget what striking does. Charge attacks. Oh, I don't like that though. HP gradually gradually depletes. I'm, I'm good. I wonder, though, if I put a Radiant Gem on my gun, does that affect all... Does that affect stamina costs across the board? Hmm. I'm gonna have to test that. I'm gonna have to test that at some point. I wanna try this. I may as well, I'm already here. And it's not like I really care about echoes right now. I need to level the fuck up, but I don't I don't really care. Come here. Fuck you. God, that HP. God, that fucking HP scares me. They do a lot of damage. And they're tanky as fuck. They have a shit ton of range. Yeah. They're another enemy that nobody likes. And I think that pretty much explains why. I don't blame anybody for hating those things. I hate them. Fucking despicable enemy. And I'm bad at parrying them too. Because they have a lot of mix-ups too. Slow attacks. Mixed into fucking fast attacks. And a really long and hella damaging charge attack. That is sometimes nigh impossible to avoid. In void. Avoid. Yeah, it's... And then you mix that with the fact that they're gigantic, like, HP-heavy motherfuckers. Okay, I just barely survived that. No. Christ. Cursed adept, so that's either that's either blunt or thrust. It can always be either one. Thrust, okay. Very difficult guy to. I mean, they're not that hard to parry. I'm just bad at it. Oh my god, I hate how s how these fuckers work. Stop it. Now he's gonna run. Uh-oh. Actually, thank god that guy knocked me. 
I'm gonna fucking run now. Oof. God, I hate these fucking things. God, I hate these fucking things. Mm. Fucking annoying enemies that are poorly fucking built. Not well designed at all. At least you can parry them. That balances out significantly. You just gotta know how. Oh, that, that's a grab. This guy has significantly less HP than the other one does. Hmm. You can't back attack him, or I'm doing it wrong. Just don't you fucking dare do this to me. Don't you dare. I did not get this far just for you to fucking ruin it for me at the last goddamn second. Oh, you can back attack him. I'm just stupid. There it is. The other weapon I want to be using for when this fucking thing isn't enough. Sheesh. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's the shark giants for you. Hate them. Did they even drop anything good? I don't remember if they did. Or do. Okay. Let me see. How many attacks can I get off? One, two, three, four, five. Just about five. Let me try putting the gem on my gun. One, two, four, five. It's about the same. It's not it's not a big enough difference to really matter. One. Hmm. I don't know if it actually makes that much of a difference. No, I don't think it actually affects any of your It has to be slotted onto the weapon that has the Stamina costs, I think. I may as well reinforce it a bit. It's not my main source of damage, but it doesn't hurt. It sure as hell don't hurt. Probably repair my fucking Chikagi. Chikungi. Chiskungi dungi. Alright. Time to kill more lanterns. I want to replace the nourishing gem if I can help it. It's either that, or I replace, um... Yeah, the nourishing one. I think the nourishing one. 
Because that's my lowest right now. No! Okay. Yeah, my nourishing one is the one that kind of needs to, to go for the time being. Mmm. Frenzy sucks. Frenzy is a bad mechanic. And... Uh, <sighs> absolutely fuck all for fucking what I need. That's a, an absolute fucking joy. Alright. I mean, at least it's bullets, I guess. Before I fight Orphan, I'm gonna have to put on Blood Rapture. Actually, I mean, I technically don't have to have it, but it helps a lot. Because Blood Rapture's effect is multiplied. For, like, the first phase, when you're fighting Orphan. It's, like, double, I think. The idea being that, you know, you can use that to recover your HP. Instead of spamming Blood Vial's first phase. Because second phase is crazy. Second phase is one of those things you just gotta take a deep breath and be like, where's the opening, you know? It's just very easy to panic. And of course, that's kind of by design. I mean, he's a scary fucking boss. He's one of the hardest bosses I've ever fucking killed in a game like this. It took me an entire week to beat him for the first time. And that was definitely not because I did it fists only. Definitely nothing to do with fists only. <laughs> I still have that video on, on, on YouTube. Me fucking... Why did I vial all the way back up? Stop dropping bullets! Please! I beg of you! I need things other than bullets. Damn it. It's fine. It would help if I had, at, like, points into arcane, so I could use shit. That- that would be a big fucking help. But I don't have points in arcane right now, because I'm a big dummy dum dum. Get away! Run away! Run away! Ooh. What kind of curse is it, though? I will only accept stamina. Ugh. That's... 
Hmm. I wonder if that actually would be worth. I wonder if that's that even worth at all. Because, so it's physical attack. Blood is a type of physical attack. It is. It, it is a physical attack for some reason. So I know that it will benefit from that. I'm going to have to look at it. Let's see the numbers. Is it better or is it worse? Actually, let's repair. Here we go. This is straight up attack up plus 15. Oh, yeah, it is worse. That is actually worse. Why is the question? I guess it's just because of the attack down. The minus that attack down is just bad enough to like ruin it in a way. Hmm. That's fine. Farming for gems. Am I playing fucking Path of Exile? <laughs> my fist build so far. My fist poison build. It's getting interesting. So I found Reeve. And I have been in love with it. If I could make it so that Reeve has a... So the two skills I rely on a lot are Reeve and Puncture right now. Reeve for just massive AoE, and I have a melee splash effect for, for Puncture. You know, just punch something with Puncture first so that you get that nice DOT on. And then just kind of reeve everything else. I have, um, Herald of Ash. Because I like fire. I'm not really trying to min-max in that game right now. I've never been a big min-maxer unless it's, like, super speed run for, like, Dark Souls or something. And I have to utilize as much effectiveness as I can in a short amount of time. Then I'm going to min-max it ahead of time and then just run for it. Bad Dragon is based in Arizona. Honestly, I would be... I would have expected it to be more of like a... Uh, like a Taiwanese thing. I would expect them to be more based out in like... Asia somewhere. I don't know why. I just would... That's just kind of what came to mind for me. Please don't be mad at me for thinking that. It's just my stupid brain being dumb. Hey, it's at least giving me vials. I need vials. Art files. <laughs> That's not what art files sound like at all. I need to take my pills in about an hour. Hour and 45 minutes. Because I take them at midnight. Between midnight and one o'clock. Yeah, that's true. You, you're right. Like I said, I'm stupid. I don't know shit. I'm dumb. This. This. Bye. Don't come back. 
what we got going on here. What kind of gem is that? Uh, I keep getting the same exact modifiers on them. That's kind of sad. And I know they drop more than just that one type of modifier. I'm just getting shit luck. <sighs> Today is horse day. Yeah. Today's a rest day. But I also kind of want to go punch the bag. <laughs> it's a rest day, but I want to go out and punch it. Because it's there, it's shiny new, and I'm like, ooh. I've been waiting for this. I'll have to wait till tomorrow. Tomorrow's arms. It'll be nice to have something to actually punch at. And that thing's surprisingly sturdy. I saw all kinds of bad reviews for that bag, saying, oh, it moves around too easily. You know, this thing is meant for fucking 12-year-olds and not full-grown adults. And I'm sitting here like, just, 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 just don't put it on a smooth wooden surface, dumbass. <laughs> put that thing outside, motherfucker. And if it's really that much of a problem, Put, like, bricks around it so it don't move. It's that easy to fix. Because, like, the thing weighs nearly, like, 300 fucking pounds when fully filled up, you know? Like, what the fuck? Like, you'd have to be extremely... You'd have, you'd have to have a cannon for an arm to be able to move a 300 fucking pound bag like that. Just... That easy. Skill strength scaling plus twenty. I don't have. Uh... Hmm. Interesting. Physical f f versus the kin down. What I'm really looking for is like the most harmless one that I can get is like stamina costs, like additional stamina cost. You saw how. When I had the thing on for stamina costs, mine it, like, that, how it reduced stamina costs made no fucking difference at all. Unless I put it on the weapon itself, which I didn't actually test. I'm gonna charge your phone. Oh, okay, that's fine. I'm just talking and rambling here. Don't mind me. Operate device. I said operate device. Bitch. I almost reinstalled Assassin's Creed Syndicate last night because fucking Miss Frey is cute and that game is fun. But then I'm like, I could just play Bloodborne instead and get relatively similar <laughs> gameplay. <laughs> Not really. It's very different. But the aesthetic, I guess. The, uh, the aesthetic's similar enough. And it wouldn't require me to install a whole new game. I wish Discord was a little better about the streaming status. I keep- it's distracting me. I see the- my status update to streaming and then uh, not be streaming, even though I haven't changed my stream period for the past two- nearly two and a half hours, you know? And I've tr I've tried pretty much every fucking thing I could find online about that. It's just Discord being Discord. I think it's just the fact that I stream on YouTube that's got it all fucked up. Vile now! Woo! Nothing but bullets. Nothing but bullets. Uh, 
I at least need the bullets. I want to wear my arm, my, my little arm warmers, but it's too warm for that. They have a little skeleton print on them, and I love them. But it's too warm, and also my hands are sweaty, and I don't want my hand sweat getting all over them. That's why I have to pause every so often to wipe my hands down a bit. I'm sorry if this proves boring to watch. I mean, I don't have to do this. It's just... Eh, why not, right? I'm probably going to be fists only orphan of cost this playthrough anyway. Because I'm more used to fighting him that way. Doing that really taught me his weak points and how to fight him. Honestly, I should just do a whole fists only run of this game in general. Because that's how you get good at these games. The problem is that not every boss can be cheesed in the way that Orphan can. But they can be cheesed in other ways that are similar. Like with, um, Amelia. Swap to the double fist and fucking charge attack her head repeatedly. Go for the head. Stay back over the head. You should be fine. Stop dropping bullets, please. Give me the thing I'm looking for. These are not the drops you are looking for. Ah, it's fine. The gems I have on my weapon won't matter too terribly much. If I'm going to fists only orphan. Because when you visceral, it doesn't take your main weapon into account. Not entirely. Not, not completely. Your viscerals are treated as its own weapon, which has a thrust damage of 1,000. This scales significantly more than that when you have greater skill. And that's kind of, I think, I don't know if there are any visceral attacks up gems in the game. I have yet to see one. But there are runes that do that. And I think that's 99% of what you need, really. I don't know. I'm still f fucking learning the, the ins and outs of this fucking game. Like, yeah. Rally potential. I'm good. I'll put that on for now. I don't really need to be summoning Volter or anything. I don't think I even summoned him when I fought Ludwig earlier. Maybe I did. I don't remember. When I say earlier, I mean earlier in this specific playthrough. Repair my weapon real quick. Okay. I'm gonna go take a quick bathroom piss. <laughs> I'll be right back. And then we'll go fight Orphan a couple of times.
Okay, I'm back. Yeah, why not? I should actually... What I'll do the next time I play this on stream is I'll just make a dedicated Beast Cutter build. Beast Cutter is one of my favorites. My two favorite weapons in this fucking game are the Beast Cutter and the Holy Moonlight Sword. Beast Cutter a little more for two reasons. One, because it doesn't require a dual stat investment. And two, it just looks cool. It's got some style points over Holy Moonlight Sword for me. But Holy Moonlight Sword is pretty damn cool. There's a reason why that's my other favorite. You know? Okay. Oh yeah, I have Rakuyo in my other... There we go. Okay, we're gonna pull him... ...over here. Ow. I'm okay with this. I don't give a shit. Gonna do the jump? Yeah, you are. I fucked that up big time. It's been a bit. So, give me just a moment. I need to kind of relearn this, because it's been a bit. There we go. Oh, it's not doubled. It's like tripled if it's fucking multiplied. Because that nearly fully replenished my HP. Nice counter. You doing, huh? Ow! Whoa, 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 what the fuck happened there? He tried to do the, the boogaloo. Well, that's not what I wanted to do, but sure. Maybe he'll get the message that that's what I want him to do. You gonna meatball? Are you gonna meatball? No meatball? I mean, that's fine too. I could actually punish that. That's another that's a very punishable attack. Get in close, then Ah I fucked it up. I guess you have to do it on the first one and not the second one. That way while he's doing the second swing, you can do the back attack. Either way, that is a very punishable attack that you can Punish. For lack of a better word. It's punishable. It's punishable. Nice. Come here. I don't know how the fuck that didn't hit me. It should have, but it didn't. That's not how you deal with that. At all. There we go. We're a little too close to the shore. Let's pull him out here.
There we go. That's how you do it. God, I do so little damage to him. It's because I'm not really crazy in level. Meatball. Punch. That's another one you can punish if you're quick enough. Damn, just out of range. Meatball. Nice. Damn it. Fucking... Ugh. Input reading. This is how it is. They have to make the boss input read. And I said those pretty much exact same words the first time I did this too. But that's just what it does. It does read your inputs. It has to. You know, they can't really make it that much of a challenge without doing something like that. This is how it is, man. It's annoying. Yeah, but... They have to be able to predict your movements somehow. And that kind of makes it fair game. It kind of makes it fair game. Because you, likewise, can predict the boss's movements. So. Fair game. Nice. Nice. Punch him. Yeah! Just one little punch. One little karate chop. Stop it. Calm down. You were just born five seconds ago. That's fine. Punch. I thought I hit circle. I guess it didn't do th the thing. It's either that or I'm just dumb. I could try to punish that. Do something, ho. Hmm. It could, it could happen. I just have to be A, close enough and in the right spot. Positioning is everything with this game. Positioning is everything. It will take me several attempts, but I can do it. I've done it twice before. Once, the first time, I beat him. And then, the second time was off stream. That was with my arcane build, I think. Yeah, it was, because I wanted to grab the cost parasite on that build thinking I was going to use it, and then I realized there's no point in trying to gr use it since I don't use the milkweed rune. And it's kind of useless if you don't have the milkweed rune. Because it won't fucking do anything otherwise. Ooh, imagine if he hit me during that. I got greedy. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking he's just like any other boss. Just hit him while on wake up, right? No. That's not how that works. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How did... Huh? Did his arm hit me? Okay. I guess his arm hit me for full damage. No idea how. No idea why. But it is what it is. I probably fucked up the dodge and it just made me take ultra damage because this game is dumb with that kind of mechanic.
one of these days that's gonna hit me, and it's gonna be funny as fuck. Cause it'll be like, SMASH! Time for you to die! Mm. Oh, he can fake that out! He can actually cancel doing that. Huh. Didn't know that. Interesting. Actually, I probably have seen him do that, I just forgot. That would- that's happened before, where I see him do things and I forget. I hate that fucking side dash that he fucking does. I- that I hate. That move I really hate. Because it always fucks with whatever I'm trying to fucking do. Well, I fucked that up big time. I need to get back into practicing the base. It's not that I haven't really wanted to. It's just other things just kind of grab my attention. With boxing, it's kind of like... I mean, that's kind of where my, most of my exercise is coming from in general. You know? So it's not like I have any real excuse to not do that. But with the base, it's very different. Because I always there are always other things that my brain latches onto first instead. Hmm. Good old greed, baby. I hate that attack! I just- I need to stop letting him get that off. And I need to place my charge attacks proper. Instead of just kind of letting him hit me. That shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey! I didn't even dodge that way. Why was I pushed that way? What the fuck was that? How the fuck was I pushed to the left when I dodged completely to the right? What the hell? That's some bullshit. I really hate that. That, that, that was bullshit. Because, like, I deliberately put the input to the right, but I was instead just completely shoved to the left and had to eat the attack. What the hell? What the fuck was that? I guess I was just in the wrong spot. Tried too hard to get too close to him, maybe. No fucking idea. That's just stupid. That is stupid. That was fucking dumb. I don't need to do that. I don't know why I thought I had to. I could have just kept moving. Oof. Or just make a monkey out of me and everything I know. That's fine. Fuck everything, right? Fuck me specifically. Like, I don't... I don't deserve to have any... Fucking... Reliability with these things. I don't deserve shit. That was greed. 
That was fucking greed. Ow. I hit circle, but it was too late. There is no way I can dodge that, is there? No, there is. I've done it before. It's just both me and the game being fucking stupid at the same time. It's a mixture of both. I dodged to the right. Still took the fucking hit for some reason. <clears throat> Don't know why. Just absolutely fuck any and all reliability to these things, I guess. Wait, what's that? It's like an elbow smash. Hm. What's the... I don't like the R2. I don't like the sprinting R2. I don't like that running R1 either, because it makes no sense to me. Like, you could just lead with a hook instead. <laughs> You just leave with a hook, motherfucker. You're unnecessarily showing your back to your opponent there, man. That's the thing I need to remember to do more often is a... Well, let's get him off the fucking beach. Holy shit. Holy goddamn shit. See, I never know if I have to dodge that or not anymore because some days he's just like I'm you don't have to dodge that because you'll be too far but then if I don't dodge I get hit anyway <sighs> it's frustrating this is a very frustrating thing to be doing and I don't know why I'm wasting my time with it but I am doesn't help whoa why did my frames drop what the fuck why are my frames dropping I mean, I'm also level 77, so I'm like maybe two-thirds the level I should be for this shit. Which is also why my damage is hot garbage to him. There we go. Just move forwards, stay locked on, it's fine. No need to freak out or panic. Just do what you're supposed to and it's fine. You know? I hit R1 instead, nice. Nice going, dumb fuck. Ow. My health back, asshole. Yeah. Sushi man. Uh, you would think I would know better than to dodge that way by now. Always go to the left when he fucking does that shit. Always. But no, my dumb ass forgets. But that's okay. Boink. Oh, it's that one. I thought he was throwing a meatball. Uh, I was already holding the stick to the fucking right when he did that. No! Maybe stop being so aggressive! That's my job! It's okay. I'll take a motivational sip of water. <sighs> hmm. 
Pizza or biscuit burgers tonight for dinner? Neither are particularly healthy for you. But it could be worse. Last night I was especially cravy. Cravy? Cream gravy. Speed that was craving a shit ton last night. Like I was just a hungry motherfucker. I'm gonna have to stop soon for food in general speaking of being hungry. Nice. But yeah, unlocking like that helps a lot. Because it allows me to redirect my charge attack. Use the lock to get in position. Use the unlock to redirect. Oh my god. It would help if I did it right, though. Which almost never fucking happens because I'm incompetent as fuck. Boink. That's okay, though. I just gotta get back into the swing of it, you know? Ow. Hey! <laughs> That, that that kind of attack combo will always be the bane of my existence and it doesn't matter what boss it is Frida has the exact same fucking thing going on where she'll fucking flurry in front of you for like six different attacks and then she'll rush ahead of you while you're stun locked and then that will kill you same exact shit that, as what Orphan just fucking pulled on me same exact fucking thing. That will always be the bane of my fucking existence. And as, as much as I try to not get hit by that shit, I can't. It just, it happens. It happens anyway. I don't know. It's just that thing that is my Achilles heel. You know? That's just how it is. What the fuck? Stop it! Mm -mm. But like with Frida, this boss is about luring him into doing certain things. And then punishing those specific things. If you can do that, you can pretty much beat any boss in this game, honestly. If I hadn't dodged a second time, I could have done that. But I didn't. How was I hit? Huh? Do my iframes just not exist? Huh? What? Where did my iframes go? Okay. Unless it's a case of never try to iframe that attack because it's a lingering hitbox that can and will hit you no matter how hard you try to iframe it. In which case, then fuck that shit. I really don't like attacks that are like that where they just extend it just long enough to completely ignore the fact that you have iframes. Hey, I, I don't like that kind of thing. I, I do not like those kinds of attacks. It's, all, it's the same exact kind of game that allows enemies to constantly home in on you no matter where the checkpoint is. There's a specific dungeon in this game that does that. Where it, it just doesn't matter. You can be- you could have died to that room, and you're trying to take a breath for a moment to recover from that. But no, you don't get that, because you died to the fucking stupid spider enemies that are homing in on you no matter what you're doing. Tell you what, I'll save this for another stream. I'm starting to get a little tired. I need to eat something, and it, my, my enjoyment of this is going down very quickly because I need to eat. I hate being that kind of person, but I, I wish I wish I could control that. I just can't. If I don't eat something, I am going to fucking 
I'm going to burst a blood vessel at some point or another. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go eat so that that doesn't happen. You know, that's just how it is. Blood sugar, diabetes, shit like that, whatever. I'll probably be live tomorrow. We'll see. We'll fucking see. I'll catch y'all later, though. Y'all take care of yourselves, please. Please and thank you.